Okay, I'm here with a man known only as the Postal Dude. Yeah, I hate that fucking name. Uh, okay, do you have a real name? Uh, I forget. Kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> Too much green health herb. Or meth. <laughs> Just kidding, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. So, I've read that you were in paradise before it was completely devastated by the unsolved nuclear incident. Yeah, due to an unfortunate uh, subprime mortgage malfunction, I was forced to relocate to a much nicer neighborhood with my beautiful wife. I'd just been hired by one of America's premier video game companies. Management decided that I was overworked and needed a sabbatical. Nothing personal, man, but you're fired. I used the time to check some errands off my list. Got Gary Coleman's autograph, that was pretty sweet. Picked up some steaks, played with elephants, went to confession, and visited my dad's grave. Cause that's how I roll. Speaking of religion, weren't you at the Church of Dave compound during the massacre? Yeah, it was my Uncle Dave's birthday. I got him one of those bad touch crotchy figures. Those things were harder to get than strangle bait Elmo. Awesome park day at Dave's until the man showed up. I'm pretty sure they had the wrong address. Anyway, it wasn't really a religious cult. It's more like a cheap scam for Dave to hook up with Christian chicks. Apparently they go nuts for the whole, I am the reincarnation of Jehovah, kneel down and watch me play a wicked guitar solo thing. I was impressed. Anyway, after my uh, unfortunate firearms accident, my beautiful wife left me. I was devastated. By then, the neighborhood was lousy with sewer Taliban, and the mad cow Tourette zombie epidemic broke out. So me and Champ decided it was time to get out of town. Besides, about 20 other games were set in cities called Paradise by now. Right. So you were at the Paradise Municipal Bridge when the tragedy struck. 